In this video, we'll go over the special pleading fallacy and look at an example committed by feminist advocate Baha Mustafa. The special pleading fallacy is defined as a form of fallacious argument that attempts to cite something as an exception to a generally accepted rule or principle without adequate justification. An example of this fallacy being, caffeine isn't really a drug because almost everyone uses it. It doesn't have the same side effects as other drugs like heroin, and I don't do drugs. The medical community defines caffeine as a drug, and the reasons provided in the example don't provide exception from this. Let's take a look at our example by Baha Mustafa. Before we watch this, in light of recent charges placed against Mustafa for what she said on social media, we want to emphasize that we are proponents of free speech and do not advocate for censorship, even of positions that differ from our own. Furthermore, there have been charges made against me that I am racist and sexist to white men. <laughs> I want to explain why this is false. I, an ethnic minority woman, cannot be racist or sexist towards white men because racism and sexism describe structures of privilege based on race and gender. And therefore women of color and minority genders cannot be racist or sexist since we do not stand to benefit from such a system. In order for our actions to have been deemed racist or sexist, the current system would have to be one which enables only people of color and women to benefit economically and socially on such a large scale and to the systematic exclusion of white men, of white people and men, who for the past 400 years would have had to have been subjected to colonization. We do not live in such a system. We do not know of such a history. Reverse racism and reverse sexism are not real. In the video, Mustafa attempts to reason for her innocence from allegations of sexism and racism by constructing her own definitions of the terms. In her view, both racism and sexism are constructs of privilege and only populations of privilege are capable of racial or sexist discrimination. Based on these definitions, Mustafa asserts that a woman of ethnicity can be considered neither sexist nor racist. Mustafa's construction of both sexism and racism falls short of socially accepted definitions. The Oxford 4th edition dictionary defines sexism as discriminating in favour of one's sex or assuming one person's abilities and social functions are predetermined by his or her sex, and racism as belief in superiority of a particular race or the theory that human abilities are determined by race and or antagonism between races. While these definitions are not set in stone by any means, nor are they the only accepted definitions of the two issues, they are, however, representative of the criticisms given to Mustafa, and any attempt to posture away from these criticisms must address the issues as they are defined by the critics. By critically analysing Mustafa's claims, it is easy to see she in fact does not deny her own bias against the male gender or people of Caucasian descent, but rather attempts to claim that discrimination of these groups by women of minority ethnicity does not fall under the guise of sexism or racism respectively. Instead of addressing the criticisms as they are made, she instead attempts to redefine the terms to suit her own position in order to make an appeal for special circumstance and effectively avoid the accusations made. In attempting to redefine racism and sexism as to not include herself so the criticisms against her no longer apply, Mustafa has committed the special pleading fallacy. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel for weekly videos and be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video.